all of us in the um, uh, on the side are doing our top five Licorice Cage films. So I, it doesn't have to be in any particular order. But have you given some thought to what are what are your five favorite movies? You think Cage? I would have like a a quick <laughs> answer to this, but um, okay, let's think. I uh, Moonstruck holds a special place in my heart because I'm half Italian and it shows me like a version of my life that I never got to experience. They say there's nothing new under the sun. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Gone in 60 seconds because that was one of the first DVDs my family ever bought. So, uh, like, I haven't watched it in many years, but as a kid, I think my family and I watched it multiple times. By the time the first car is reported stolen, Almost. your ship set sail. Um, Raising Arizona is incredible. <laughs> Kind of late for visitors, isn't it, huh? Oh, well, yeah, honey. But these boys just got out of the joint. So we got to show a little hospitality. Adaptation is incredible. The book has no story. There's no story. Make one up. Okay, we open with LaRoche. No, we open at the beginning of time. Okay, we open with LaRoche. Crazy white man. We open on Charlie Kaufman. Fat, bald, ugly, paces. Ah, what should I do for the last one? Uh... It's got to be face-off, right? (laughs) Face Off was great. I, I like Face Off actually. The, the before I went up to to Port, like the night before I went up to Portland to for pre production, my friends uh, threw me like a Face Off party. Like I did a little dinner party and we watched Face Off, uh, and and everything was peach themed because he he always talks about peaches. <laughs> oh yeah, you could eat a peach for hours. Yeah. Would you like anything else once we're airborne? Oh, peach. Sit. Hmm. You know, I can uh, eat a peach for hours. I, I think for the last one, I will do... Um, oh, it's so hard. It's so hard. Uh, I actually really enjoy National Treasure. I think it's like a very fun... Uh, you know, it's it's sort of... Yeah, like, like National Treasure and The Mummy are like the two films that came closest to capturing like the real sense of like an Indiana Jones film and like really having that sense of fun and, and adventure. Get out of there now. He's got the bloody map. The clues of 10 generations. There's more to the riddle. We'll reveal a mystery 20 centuries in the making. Who wants to go down the creepy tunnel inside the tomb first? <gasps> um, so like I've seen National Treasure probably three times just because it's like, you, it's sort of, you can put it on and just be like, oh, this is fun. Let's go yeah. with it. Uh, that's a good top five, actually. And I'm so glad you, you mentioned Racing Arizona because all the Coen brothers do is absolutely amazing. So because it's oh, some yeah. of their earlier work, it does tend to be forgotten a bit, but it's such a great, such a great Oh, it's film. wonderful. Yeah, the Coens, they, they can do no wrong. Yeah. And you want to know another thing? I'm going to be a better person from here on out. Let's go get Nathan Jr. Wait, I have to ask, what are, what are your five, though? You have to you oh. have tell me your five. I, I actually actually haven't even sent in my list yet. Um, so, this, you don't have to stick to this. This no, you can modify it. But, okay. But in this moment, right now. Cool. I would definitely have face off in there. You're not having any fun, are you, Sean? Try terrorism for hire. We'll blow some stuff up. It's more fun. I mean. John Woo is, is still my favorite action director. If you can't oh, it's, it's a mind. blast. It I mean, is a blast. blast. It, it is yeah. a blast. And it's just, I mean, and of course, I guess that's one of the films that also set the tone for how we very much perceive Nicolas Cage as well. But that's one of the movies where he just knocks it out of the park and just both him and John Travolta just, uh, you know, stepping up to the plate and really outperforming each other. Yeah. Uh, it, it's, it's like an amazing boxing match. So that would, that would definitely be there. I would actually... And this this is not just because I'm talking to you, and to, but but I would definitely have I would definitely have uh, pig in there as well. I think pig, it's, uh, pig, pig, pig. Yeah, pig exactly. Pig and that's yeah. that's it. Five times pig. Never mind face off, <laughs> but pig would be in there as well. well. I appreciate that. What are you thinking? I remember every meal I ever cooked. I remember every person I ever served. You live your life for them, and they don't even see you. You don't even see yourself. Uh, and Mandy, I would definitely put Mandy in there. I think it's such a that's that's also 
it, and it totally it's, it's it, both that and pig are just some of my favorite movies about reason movies about loss oh man they wronged you yeah mandy's great it's so i mean nick has such variety in his career it's like it's incredible. very hard to choose. You could choose yeah. any five and you're going to get such a crazy variety and so many great films. His acting sort of range is too often dismissed because it's huge. Yeah. There's such a variety to it. Did I ever tell you that this here jacket represents a symbol of my individuality and my belief in personal freedom? About 50,000 times. But I would definitely have adaptation there as well. I mean, I've, I yeah. think that's, that's probably my favorite performance of his. Um, Two performances. Yeah, exactly. Dual, uh, dual performances. I'm putting in a chase sequence. So the killer flees on horseback, cops after them on a motorcycle. And it's like a battle between motors and horses, like technology versus horse. Ah, uh, over my, my fifth beat. The last one's hard. It's like it all is. of them start rushing in and you're like, oh, there's so many. Do I want to go for one of the lighter ones? One of the, Exactly. Yeah. I exactly. Popped out. I did National Treasure. That's the like. <laughs> but I have a big soft spot for the first National Treasure film as well. Yeah. So. I, I, had, I had a soft spot for Lord of War. With the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms. And I guess this isn't about the alcohol or the tobacco. I liked The Weatherman quite a bit. I feel like yeah. that's sort of not good. You're on TV, bro. You're on TV. You're on TV, bro. So what? You keep saying that. So you're on TV, bro. Go work in a bank or something if you don't want to be cool to people. Whatever. Just, can you get out of my face? Oh, matchstick men. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's so many great. Obviously, I have a lot of ticks. <laughs> These distractions affected you workably. What would you do if you had to change careers? What? If I wasn't an antiques broker? If you weren't a criminal. <laughs> this is Dr. Klein. I just got off the phone with Angela, your daughter, who says so she really wants to meet you. Remember me? All of a sudden, I have a daughter. Um. Okay, I'm gonna just go on a limb and say. The Rock. Listen, I'm just a biochemist. I drive a Volvo. Beige one. So what do you say you cut me some friggin' slack? Fire. So, that's my that's my top five. That's a great five. <laughs> that is a great five. You did but, it. You don't have to stick with them. You're allowed to, to change. But at this moment in your life, those are the five. Exactly. It's uh, open for change. Just I'm don't sure. change pig. Just, just keep pig in there. No, exactly. pig no, will... no you, can, you can change pig. <laughs> pig, pig will definitely stay there. Who has my pig? Thank <laughs> you.